Hi guys, it's Henry Sable, and today I'm going to be doing an updated What's in My Bag video for 2018-19 season. Before we get into it, I have two things to mention. Firstly, last week I broke my wrist. I saved the ball, which is the good thing. It didn't go in the net, but I broke my wrist. It's called a buckle fracture, what I did. Luckily, it didn't. Uh, break like snap in half but it's basically where the bone has bent and then bent back and then it's got like a lump sort of in the bone gonna have my arm in a cast for two to three weeks and then obviously after that I've got to build it back up again secondly please go and check out JAR1 Goalkeeping Academy on YouTube they have over 2,000 subscribers they do lots of training drills and tips. They even coach the Slovenian national women's team. The first thing is that I have changed the bag from my last What's In My Bag video. This is a Nike medium sized bag. It has a big section in the middle to uh, smaller pockets on both the ends. This is just the right size for everything that I need to put in it. In one end of the bag, I have normally a bottle with water so I can wet my gloves before the match. And then in my other bottle, I just have my drink that I would drink in the match. And then in the other side, I have my uh, like a medical sort of bag with... <laughs> <laughs> with uh, ice packing, sunblock, pain relief and other stuff like that. Oh, and in here I've also got this Adidas thin rain jacket. I just use, put it on for when I'm warming up um, or training and then it starts to rain. Now onto the main section. First of all, we have this Precision GK padded under top I use this a lot it's very durable I've had this for a while they, it has padding on the shoulders and on the elbows so if you're playing on hard astro turf or hard ground it just takes the ed edge off things also it's made of lycra really lightweight you hardly know you're wearing it next to go with that top we have the precision GK once again, padded uh, under bottoms. These are three quarter length. It has padding on the hips, so when you're diving, it takes the edge of things again. I also have the full length version, which has the addition of padded knees. Also, occasionally, I would wear these short Adidas padded shorts because these are, even though they're a bit thicker, so it makes you hotter. The padding is a little bit more thick, so it helps more if the ground's like super duper hard like it has been this summer for us. Next, we have my Academy goalkeeper top. I wear this when I'm playing Academy games or training with my Academy. This is, made, this is perforated, so it lets the hot air out. It also has a slight bit of padding on the elbows, so that's why I would normally wear this underneath. It's made by Nike, really lightweight. I also have a purple version of this, which looks really cool. Also, to go with that top, we have the Nike Academy shorts. These are really lightweight, once again, nice to wear, just in general, really nice in the summer. Next, we have these Storelli shin sleeves. These are really good because you just slide them over your cars and then you put your shin pads in there hold them in place so they don't slip around. They also have padding on the outside of your calves and also on your ankles. I also have these white Nike shin pads which go really well with the shin sleeves. Next up we have my Prem Grip socks and sleeves. A lot of the Premier League players wear these ones. They have pads on the sole which stops your foot from sliding around in your boot. It's also meant to increase the blood flow through your feet and calves. Now I'm going to show you how you wear them. 
First of all, you put the prim grip socks over any shin sleeves you're wearing. Next, you put these sock sleeves on over, over the shin sleeves and the socks. They'll start from about here and go right up to over your knee if you want to. So this is what it looks like with the sock sleeve on. I've rolled these down because if not, they'd be right over my knees. Prim grip also do do this tape, which they say you should put where on the joint of the sock and the sock sleeve if it doesn't roll up. But personally, I don't think um, you need it. And by the way, inside, this does have a little Velcro pocket so you can put smaller items in there, like money, phone. Finally, we have my glove bag. This is a one glove bag, which it has a pocket on the front so you can put um, smaller items in there like plasters and other things like that. So, first of all, I have a cap in here, so if it's sunny, I put this on to stop the sun getting in my eyes. Next, these boots I'm wearing the most, these are the Adidas Nemesis in blue and black with the yellow stripes. These are moulded stud, so they're good for 3G and hard ground, which it is at the moment. The next thing is I have a towel in here, which if I get sweaty or it's raining, I can keep myself dry. And then the final thing I would keep in this glove bag is obviously my gloves. I have so many different gloves, obviously it depends on maybe the weather or the training session, which ones I would wear, but for matches I would probably wear these KA Air Grips, these are my favourite at the moment, obviously I love every single glove, but out of, the, out of all of them, these are my favourite. As you can see, I also have these Adidas Red and White Predator boots. I'm going to be wearing these more as it gets into the wet weather. So that's it for my What's In My Kit Bag video for the 2018-19 season. If you have a question about any of these items, then please put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. That's it for the video. If you enjoyed, then please press the like button and subscribe for more. Bye!